What's up guys, Chelsea92G here, and we are back for some more 2K Showcase, Hustle, Loyalty, Disrespect. And where we left off, CM Punk lost to Triple H, why we do not know, it made no sense at the time, and Night of Champions. Still pretty bitter about that. Anyway, on to the next pay-per-view. Yeah, well, a lot of pay-per-views in the fall of 2011, trust me. So on to the next pay-per-view, first time ever, a triple threat Hell in a Cell match for the WWE Championship. John Cena was the champion at the time, Alberto Del Rio got his rematch for Night of Champions, while CM Punk never got his rematch for losing the title via cash-in to Alberto Del Rio at SummerSlam. In here. And enough talk because I'm starting to forget things. Down my mind. Let's get straight on to Hell in a Cell. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome at this time Alberto Del Rio's personal ring announcer, Ricardo Rodriguez. Damas y caballeros, les presento al hombre que ganará su título otra vez al orgullo de México, el patrón, él es Alberto Del Rio. You know, King, Alberto Del Rio's right. I've never heard of a situation before where a man loses the WWE Championship and is then granted his rematch under triple threat rules inside Hell in a Cell. Well, you make a valid point there, Michael, but CM Punk also deserves a rematch. CM Punk has been talking about how he should be the favorite here tonight because he's been in a Hell in a Cell match before against the greatest cell competitor of all time, Undertaker. Well, if that's the mind game he's playing with himself, so be it. Surviving a Hell in a Cell match with Undertaker is a mighty feat. John Cena only won the WWE Whoa, Championship two weeks ago. He defeated Alberto Del Rio in a one-on-one -on -one matchup. So I believe John Cena should have to defend only against Del Rio tonight. Well, your points are somewhat valid, but the Cena will make the decision. He's the one calling the shot. This 
match is yet another controversial decision by our COO, who is showing blatant favoritism in my mind by allowing CM Punk in this match and giving him this opportunity. Look, the way I see it, he made it fair. He made it even for every one of these competitors to come out here and have a chance to win the WWE Championship. Remember the rules, the first man to gain pinfall or submission will become the WWE Champion. See no. See no. The pinfall or submission must take place inside the ring. Which is surrounded by this cavernous hell in a cell. It's 20 feet high, head. it weighs 5 tons. It's 3,200 square feet of steel. That's bigger than an average American home. It's certainly bigger than your double wide. Oh, and the reversal by John Cena. Oh, the reversal. What a reversal. Cena, go away. Ladies and gentlemen, the next time we come to you on paper, we will be for bragging rights from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Ah, uh, yes, Minnesota, the home of the AWA. You know, Cole, I'm a former wow. AWA World Heavyweight Champion. That was a bragging right. Oh, oh man, another bragging. stiff kick. Never. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it wasn't a bragging rights. Look out, look out! CM Punk seems helpless. Devastating. Ow. And there's the reversal from CM Punk. Ooh. Look out. Let's see that just jump in. And can you believe that in Oh, we're gonna do see that. We're gonna do like that. King of the latest WWE.com power rankings that were released yesterday. Alberto Del Rio is ranked sixth. CM Punk fourth, and John Cena came in at number two. You would have to think whoever wins this match would be number one in next week's rankings, right? Of course. Oh, uh, there's been a lot of speculation heading into this match about whether Alberto Del Rio could adapt to Hell in a Cell given that tonight is his first ever time inside the structure. But let's not forget how vicious and aggressive Alberto Del Rio can be. This is a man who took Mysterio out of action and forced Edge to retire. Well, Alberto Del Rio yeah, has well damaged many of shit, since you know? coming to the WWE. But can he become the WWE Champion here tonight? CM Punk has been in one Hell in a Cell match in his career, as has John Cena. Alberto Del Rio is making his first appearance inside this structure. Yeah, and quite frankly, neither what CM Punk nor John that? Cena had great success in their first Hell in a Cell matches. But you would have to think they learned a great deal from those first matches, which may give them the advantage over Alberto Del Rio here tonight. The WWE Universe split 50-50 on the WWE Champion John Cena. We're going to see a lot of let's go Cena, CM Punk chance. What about Alberto Del Rio? Where are his chance? Well, you're not going to get a lot of Del Rio chance, Cole, especially given the shape he's in right now. All three of these men will be going through hell here tonight. But according to Alberto Del Rio, he's the only one that will be coming back. King, okay. if I'm going to be honest, Alberto Del Rio doesn't deserve to be locked in the cell. What? He's not an animal. Yes, he is. He's not a criminal. Yes, he is. This man is a philanthropist. Oh, he's an <laughs> aristocrat from Mexico. He's put thousands this of people in the world. Oh, well, that's this your opinion, to If Alberto Del Rio wants to achieve his so-called destiny, he's going to have Come to on. survive this barbaric structure. But that is in a slow way. Uh oh, trying to put him away. Pump, stop this, please. Pump, pump. I'll be your friend. Pump. That's it. God He's done. It, the shoulders down. What? <laughs> this could do it. And there's the breakup. Just in the nick of time. Boy, he was able to reverse it. Get out of that. There's another great kick. What is that? Look at CM Punk. What here. is that? Some kind of glitch. He's looking at it. Ah! And that should do it. See He's going. There's the save. How close was that? He got body on body there. 
but that's about it. Championship on the line. This guy's just getting worn out. And he dodges that one. I don't like the looks of this. Uh oh, look at that. Oh, jeez. He goes to trip Can't help it. Wait a minute. What is Ricardo doing? Ricardo knocked down the officially opened up the, the cell. Oh, hey, he's, he's, he had a steel pipe in his hand. But John Cena, Cena thwarting Ricardo. Oh, look at that. Out. Oh, hey, hey, outside the cell. That's it for Ricardo. But what's that steel pipe? Oh, man, right to the midsection. Hi, right, Cena. And now Del Rio is he's closing the. That door on a steel cage. Uh, looks like you're How out. smart is that, Kings? Now Del Rio makes sure it's one on one. Cena has been taken out of the picture. Cena has been taken out of the picture. Oh. Wow. Cena can't get in the cell. Cena can't get in the cell. Del Rio using that that steel pipe and Cena struggling, trying to get in, but there's no way that that door's locked. Now mocking Cena. Man, brilliant strategy from Del Rio. Why are you throwing away the pipe? Well, I need John the pipe. Cena locked outside the cage now. This becomes a one-on-one -on -one match with Alberto Del Rio and CM Punk. Here we go, outside of the ring, and there are no countouts in this match. And we're going back between the ropes. Will it be? And Punk gets the shoulder up. All right. Yeah. Okay. And now it is show off time. Yeah, time over again. Oh, 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 Darn it. Wait, he didn't do the signature. Let me remind everybody there are no count outs. These competitors can stay out here as long as they like. He's putting those educated feet to good use. Remember, CM Punk lost his WWE Championship when Alberto Del Rio cashed in his Money in the Bank contract at SummerSlam. Then John Cena beat Alberto Del Rio for the title last month at the Night of Champions pay-per-view. And amazingly, Del Rio claims Cena doesn't deserve to be champion, despite making Del Rio tap out. Is it time to Doing whatever it takes to win. Yeah. Oh. Flexibility. I mean, and that's a stiff that. kick. I mean, we'll and again, that. the feet fly. You hear how his leg connected? And he does it one more time. Oh, come on. That See a punk that. gathering oh, attention in a hurry. Look at CM Punk here. And he kicks out of it. With the championship at stake, you know these superstars will give everything they have to win here tonight. And he reversed it. Good move there. What's going to happen now? Yeah, I should have punched. And what a reversal from CM Punk. Jeez, he's, got he's putting one. those educated feet to good use. He's about to have another one. he can. This is no disqualification. Wow! If he keeps this up, this could be this over quick. Yep, it helps. And this is going to return to the ring. Oh, God. I have to hope this works. Back into the ring now. We know what... Wow, that's... Get what? Get 
Gets it in the middle. Pin him. That should do it right there. Three. And Alberto Del Rio has won the WWE Championship. And with John Cena helplessly looking on from outside the cell. This is unbelievable. All right, we're not going to show what, what a travesty, weeks. Cole. I can't believe I saw what I just saw. Travesty? I'd say it was brilliant. I've never seen anything like it. Oh, you would say that. The following contest scheduled for one fall is for the WWE. Chip and Chip. Please welcome at this time Alberto Del Rio's personal ring announcer, Ricardo Rodriguez. Damas y caballeros, aquí en esta noche en Nueva York les presento al hombre que ganará su título otra vez a los Blue de México, el patrón. Él es Alberto. Alberto Del Rio does some serious damage to CM Punk here tonight, so CM Punk can understand what it's like to be in pain. Oh, will you quit being a crybaby, Cole? Gentlemen, for the request of the challenger, I would like to introduce CM Punk's personal ring announcer, WWE Hall of Famer, Howard Finko. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the challenger from Chicago, Illinois, weighing 218 pounds, CM Punk. Nearly 17,000 strong here in the Big Apple on their feet for the number one contender, CM Punk. And any way you look at it, Alberto Del Rio versus CM Punk is going to be a hell of a matchup here tonight at Survivor Series. Championship. The title has changed hands here in New York on 15 occasions, more than any other place in the entire world. Will it happen tonight? And CM Punk is finally getting his rematch after Alberto Del Rio cashed in his Money in the Bank contract at SummerSlam. Alberto Del Rio has had a magical year. He began the year off by winning the largest Royal Rumble in history. He also won the Money in the Bank ladder match and then cashed it in at SummerSlam to win the WWE title. Oh, wait a minute. You know you have to keep an eye on Ricardo Rodriguez because throughout this entire magical year that you speak of, Rodriguez has been there creating shortcuts for Del Rio. And I don't think that's befitting of a champion. You know, CM yeah. Punk enters this match a four-time world champion and a two-time Money in the Bank winner. In fact, he's the only man to win it two years in a row. You tell us. and cheesy to be doink, dink, pink, and wink. Impressive, King. Hey, wait a minute, Michael. That dink was a lot tougher than he looked. 
Plus, a win's a win. So then I shouldn't be up 95 and 96, right? Uh, no. no. What's CM Punk gonna do now? You hear how his leg connected? Look out! Oh, talk about getting flattened! Ouch! What a reversal! He's in big trouble! You know, the past year that Alberto Del Rio has had might just be the most impressive I've ever seen. The only stretch in recent memory I can compare it to is perhaps Sheamus' in 2009. In a matter of six months, he went oh, from yeah. debuting on ECW to becoming WWE Champion. Well, you're right about that. That was a very impressive stretch, to say the least. Sheamus shot like a rocket. And Del Rio there seems to be doing the same thing. Indeed, King. It will go down as one of the best 12-month stretches in sports entertainment history, as will Alberto Del Rio's unbelievable run he's on now. CM Punk says he's going to make the WWE Championship interesting again. What I don't like about CM Punk is the way that he coerced Alberto Del Rio into putting the championship on the line here tonight. Big Show had knocked out Del Rio. Then Punk put on the Anaconda Vice and made Del Rio agree to this match. Well, remember, Punk never received a one-on-one -on -one rematch after uh, Del Rio successfully hey, cashed in his Money in the Bank contract at SummerSlam. Yes. You know, the only thing I agree with Alberto Del Rio on is, I've been rich and I've been poor, and he's right, rich is better. What? I find it hard to believe that the king of Memphis was once poor. Yeah, I know that shot you, Cole, but my early battles in Memphis with Jackie Fargo, while great, weren't necessarily sending me to the penthouse. Yeah, there's a reason for that. Alberto Del Rio, on the other hand, was born into wealth. His family is among the most wealthy and well-respected in all of Mexico. Well, he's making a comeback. Uh, now he's on the outside. Uh oh misjudged that. CM Punk is scaling the ropes. Oh, no! He's not exactly... What a move! I don't like how slow he is to react right now. Pump, pump, pump with Del Rio up high over the GTS. Oh, but look at Del Rio. He's not even going for that cross arm breaker. And, whoa, watch that roundhouse. Ooh. Yeah, but look at Del Rio. Del Rio floats into the arm breaker. He's got it now. It's the cross arm breaker, and it's locked in hard. You know, I've been watching Alberto Del Rio since he arrived here in the WWE, and he's always working the little things, something his opponent never sees coming. That's what's unique about Alberto Del Rio. What's going to be interesting is that you would have to assume the strategy for both men in this matchup is to work the arms of the other. For Del Rio, it's the cross arm breaker, and of course for Punk, the Anaconda Vice. And you would have to think that both of these guys are under a lot of pressure. It doesn't get any bigger than competing in the Big Apple. Last couple of weeks out, but CM Punk is pulling forward in this match. Oh, and he's cut off as quickly as he was coming back. It's over just like that. The first time this great arena hosted Survivor Series was back in 1996. Man, unfortunately, I'm about to. Ah, he up the animation. Now, it said he wanted me to win my pin for but that's not how Look at those comes. eyes. Oh, yeah, this could be big. So I'm rather confused. Look at man. this. CM Punk, what a maneuver! It's so okay. Punk. Oh, look at this! Oh, and a kick out! Oh, and look at Punk, okay. wait! He's got him! He had a con device locked in! Locked in on Del Rio! Del Rio, baby, his... Look at this! Del Rio's tapping now! We got a new champion! Oh, my God! Punk isn't exactly super excited. CM Punk Please is trying to see it more excited than that. What a moment! Oh, Bit more excitement crowd? Yeah, maybe. The WWE Championship just being handed to CM Punk. Here is your winner and new WWE Champion, CM Punk. And now the celebration. You're right about that. Punk sharing it with his fans. What an incredible moment. 
John Cena and CM Punk would continue on their separate paths heading into WrestleMania 28, CM Punk took on Y2J in a battle of the best. What a matchup! CM Punk remains the WWE Champion! While Cena went one-on-one -on -one with the Great One. Rock bottom! Rock bottom! The Rock has beat John Cena! John Cena had him, but The Rock prevails! But as fate would have it, John Cena was granted an opportunity that could potentially put CM Punk and the WWE Championship in his crosshairs yet again. The WWE Championship contract Money in the Bank ladder match will be Kane, The Big Show, Chris Jericho, and John Cena. For the very first time in his career, John Cena steps into a Money in the Bank ladder match. Here we go, baby. It just got kicked off. Oh, and there goes Big Show, and John Cena is rolling. Talking about hurt, talking about pain. Right here, John Cena is dishing it out. John Cena with Big Show up on his shoulders. Are you wow. kidding me? Look at Cena. Wow. John Cena and AA to the table. Here's Cena. Now using the briefcase as a weapon. John Cena's Cena won it. it. John Cena won it! John Cena wins money in the bank! John Cena now guaranteed a WWE Championship match whenever he wants it. And you know, somewhere, WWE Champion CM Punk is looking over his shoulder. Which means he can now cash in for a WWE title shot anytime, any place over the next 12 months. But John Cena being John Cena, he doesn't wait that long to tell Punk when he's going to cash it in. But you'll have to wait until next time to find out when he cashes it in and what happened when he cashed it in. I've been Chelsea92G, 